Transistors A transistor is a useful electronic component made from three layers of P-type and N-type semiconductors. There are two types of transistors, namely NPN transistor and PNP transistor. The NPN transistor has a thin layer of P-type silicon sandwiched between two layers of N-type silicon. The PNP transistor has a thin layer of N-type silicon sandwiched between two layer of P-type silicon. The transistor is a three-terminal device consisting of the base B, collector C and emitter, E. The emitter supplies charge carriers to the collector. The base which forms a thin layer at the center of the transistor controls the flow of charge carriers from the emitter to the collector. The collector receives charge carriers from the emitter. In an NPN transistor, current flows from the base, B, to the emitter, E. In a PNP transistor, current flows from the emitter, E, to the base, B. The correct way of connecting a transistor to a battery depends on the type of transistor. To connect an NPN transistor, the negative pole of one battery is joined to E, and its positive pole to C. To connect a PNP transistor, the positive pole of one battery is joined to E, and its negative pole to C. The following diagram shows the mechanism of charge carrier flow in transistor. When the transistor are connected this way, the emitter's base B is forward biased and the collector base, BC is reversed biased. When B is forward biased, electrons flow across the junction from the emitter E layer to the base B layer in an NPN transistor. Holes flow across the junction from the emitter E to the base B layer in PNP transistor. The base layer is very thin and the potential difference across the collector is more positive. Therefore, most of the charge carriers whether electrons or holes are pulled across the base B to the collector C producing a current by C. Thus, a small current IB flowing through the base B will combine with IC to produce a large current IE flowing through the emitter. The characteristics of the transistor shown can be summarized as follows. If there is a small current in the base emitter circuit, the transistor is switched on and conduct electricity. Thus, transistor can be used as a control switch. A small current in the base emitter circuit allows a larger current to flow in the collector emitter circuit. Thus, transistor can be used as a current amplifier. Thank you for taking time to watch this.